In this video, you will learn how to solve a linear system using elimination method. In elimination method, we add or subtract two equations to eliminate one of the variables and then solve for the other one. And then substitute that value into one of the original equations and solve for the second variable. So let's see how can we do that. Here are the steps for elimination method. So the first step is to figure out how, uh, how to eliminate one of the variables. And then we solve for this, the other variable and we substitute that value into one of the original equation and solve for the second variable. So let's do this. I wanna explain this while I'm doing the examples. I'm gonna go over two different examples. Here is the first one. I have this linear system. I have two linear equations. I wanna solve by elimination. So the first thing we need to do is to figure out which, uh, how can I get rid of one of these variables? So as you can see here, I have X and Y variables, but the Y, vari the y variable have the same coefficient. I have TY, 3Y in both equations. So the sign of those two terms are same. So that's why I can just subtract these two equations and get rid of one of these variables. I can get rid of the y's. So 6x minus 2x, that's just 4x. 3y minus 3y, that's just 0y equals negative 8 minus minus 4. So negative 8 minus minus 4 is just plus 4, plus 4 and negative 8, that's just negative 4. See, this coefficient is 0, that means this is just 0. So I have, on the left side, I have 4x. On the right side, I have negative 4 and divide both sides by four. So X equals negative one. So I eliminate one of the variables and then I solve for the other variable. That, that's the first two step. And now the last step is to substitute this value, this value into one of these two original equations. It doesn't matter which one, you can choose uh, the easiest one. So I'm, got, I'm just gonna go with the first one. So I have six times X, which is negative one plus 3y equals negative eight. Six times negative one, just negative six, plus 3y equals negative eight. I have to move the constant term to one side, so I have 3y on the left side, so negative eight plus six on the right side. So 3y equals negative two, so y equals, just do not skip that part, so divide both sides by three, so y equals negative two over three. So this is the x coordinate, this is the y coordinate of the point of intersection. So the point of intersection is just this point. Oops, it's just negative one comma negative two over three. So that's how we solve using elimination method. Let's do another example. Let's take a look at this one. I have this linear system, two equations, but as you can see here, the coefficient of none of these two variables are the same. So this is six, seven, four, and three. So we have to figure out which variable, how to get rid of one of these variables. How can I eliminate one of these variables? So I wanna go with y because four and three, uh, they are, we can find the least common multiple between four and three, and then multiply these two equation by that least common and get rid of the y's. So let's do that. The common multiples are four are, let me write on the side, four, eight, 12, and 16. And the common multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15. So, the lowest common multiple here is 12 between three and four. The lowest common, the least common multiple is 12. So I, I have to multiply this 4y by three, and I have to multiply this whole equation by four. So I end up with the same coefficients for y's. So let's do that. So the first equation three, so just remember, you have to multiply, I don't need that. So you have to multiply, I mean, distribute this three into all of the variables, right? So 
all of the variables and constant term as well. So I have to multiply this by everything. So three times negative six x, that's just negative 18 x. Three times negative four y, that's negative 12 y equals three times six is negative 18. Second equation, four times seven x, that's just 28 x plus 12 y equals 48. Okay, now I have the same coefficients for y and uh, for these two y's, right? I have negative 12 and positive 12 because the sign of these two terms are different. One is positive, one is negative. So if I add here, I add if I add these two equations, I'm going to get rid of this y. I can eliminate this negative 12y and this positive 12y, right? So let's do that. I'm going to add up these two equations. Negative 18x plus 28x, that's just 10x. So negative 12y and positive 12y, they cancel each other out. So zero, I don't need to write it. Equals on the right side, I have negative 18 plus 48. That's just 30. So I have to divide both sides by 10. So I have x equals 3. This is all the value for x. So now we have to substitute this value into one of the original equations. First one or second one, doesn't matter. Let's go with the first one. So I have negative 6 times 3 minus 4y equals negative 6. So negative 6 times 3, that's negative 18. Minus 4y equals negative 6. I want to keep negative 4y over here on the left side. I want to move this negative 18 to the right side because positive 18. So I have negative 4y equals negative 6 plus 18. That's just 12. Divide both sides by negative 4. So therefore, I have y equals 12 over negative 4. That's just negative 3. So this is the y value. So the x and y coordinates for the point of intersection is 3 comma negative 3. That's how we solve linear systems using elimination method. I just want to mention you can use substitution method as well, but because the coefficient of these variables, I mean the coefficient of none of these variables is 1. So if you want to use the, the substitution method, you're going to end up with lots of fraction and that's not going to be easy. So it's better to use elimination method when the coefficient of these variables is not one. Okay, so thank you for watching.